This lab will take you through the abilities of 3D layout in pads. First, I'd like to show you how to import new 3D models and add them to their matching 2D part. First, select the top LED component on the left side of the board. Click on the Import Model icon, which is now enabled, to launch the Import Part Model dialog. Browse to find the correct part and click Open. The new model assignment is saved with the design. When you assign a 3D model to a component, every component carrying the same part number will receive the new 3D model assignment. Next, click the Manage Model Mapping icon. In the Manage Model Mapping dialog, we see that the part number of the component we selected is currently mapped to the model that we imported and assigned. We can assign more components to the same model by adding them to the left column as well. You may also import and assign a 3D model using the Decal Editor. Select a component, right-click, and click on Edit Decal. The Decal Editor will replace your layout workspace until you finish and exit. The blue body on the right indicates that no 3D model mapping exists for this decal. In the Align 3D Model dialog, select both the parts identified for use with this component. Click Import Model, browse to the Step Models folder, and select the correct model for this component. To align the model properly, use the Rotate area to enter the correct X, Y, and Z values. If needed, change the values in the offset area as well. Exit from the Decal Editor and select Alt to apply the changes to all components with the same decal type. You can also import a 3D mechanical model. Click the Import Mechanical Model icon. Browse to find the file for your mechanical model and click Open to assign the model and dismiss the dialog. The new mechanical model appears in the 3D view at the origin of the design. You can now modify the properties of the model to move it within the layout. Select the model and then click the mechanical model properties icon. In the instance text field, type a name for the part. And on the type area, enable the mechanical option. In the Movement section, set the proper rotation values and finally, set the offset values. You can see the new mechanical enclosure has the perfect position. You may also control the display settings in case you want to make changes to the recommended settings. You can activate the Z-axis scaling to inspect the traces and vias on internal layers. You can also activate the seal screen or solder mask option and choose to color it. To change the display settings for the enclosure, select it and click the 3D display control icon again. Under the mechanical section, click add selected. You can choose a color for the enclosure and then click the color box next to the part to activate it. Right click on the part name and select photo realistic. Select the transparency slider and move it to show transparency of the enclosure. Once you finish, click the Hide All Options and OK to apply the changes. Now, with your display control settings in place, you can use the cutting planes for a better view of the PCB. For more information about PADS 3D, visit PADS.com.